welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my annual what I got for Christmas video. Some people are choosing to do these this year, some people aren't, but you guys always really enjoy these videos when I do them and I absolutely love watching them. I think they are so much fun just because it kind of gives you an insight of who that person is by what their family gets for them and all of that good stuff. Also, I wanted to mention that I have been doing Vlogmas. This is my first year doing Vlogmas. As you guys know, I do have a full-time job. I do YouTube and I edit pretty much all of my Vlogmas videos myself. So it was a lot of work. I did miss a couple of days, but for the most part, I uploaded every single day in December. So if you haven't seen those, you can definitely get a peek into my everyday life by watching Vlogmas. I do plan on taking a week break. I have one more little Vlogmas bonus video to post, so I will post that tomorrow. But other than that, I do plan on taking a break for about a week. So just to let you guys know, I'm not going anywhere. But after filming and editing so, so much during December, I thought I could deserve a little bit of break. And then I have some fun, new, like, motivational, productive content coming in early January. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so I will start with stockings. I got three different stockings, a very lucky gal. My parents do a stocking, Patrick's family does a stocking, and of course me and Patrick do stockings for each other. From Patrick, he got me a few fun things. So I always love this calendar. This is so random, but I got the 2020 one as well, which actually I haven't even been through all of the 2020 one because it's at my office. And as you guys know, our world kind of got shut down back in March. So anyways, I'm happy to have the 2021 Thoughts of a Dog calendar. If you guys don't know what Thoughts of a Dog is, it's basically a Twitter account, I believe is where they started. And they tweet things that your dogs might be thinking. So I'll read one to you guys, but they are so freaking cute. It honestly just like puts me in a good mood when I read them. It's just something fun and silly to kind of read every day. April 7th, it says, the human has guests coming over this evening. And my plan is to introduce each and every one of them to my stuffed friend, Sebastian. Everybody loves my stuffed friend, Sebastian. That is just so cute. And you guys know how much I love dogs. So I did request this for my stocking from Patrick. He also got me my favorite dry shampoo and some Mentos gum. Also some hand cream, which is super necessary during this time of year. And some little scrunchies that I can always use. And then my favorite thing in my stocking from Patrick is probably this mug. It just says comments have been disabled. I just thought this was very fitting for my YouTube side of life, but also I just like the sleek black look of it with the white writing. I just thought it was really cute. So love that from him. He also got me a pack of no-show socks from Amazon that I requested because I've heard great things about these and I need no-show socks all the time. I'm super excited to try these out because like I said, I've heard great things and they are all just in nude, which is perfect. These were a surprise, but I think they're pretty cool. So they clip onto your visor and they hold your sunglasses. So he details my car for me and he cleans it out and everything. So I guess he noticed that I always have like a bunch of pairs of sunglasses in my like center console. He thought these would be a better storage solution for that. So I will definitely try these out today. And my stocking from my mom, she got me a new pair of winter gloves and I actually don't have any, or at least the ones I did have, I lost. I don't know. Anytime you move, I feel like things get lost in transit sometimes. So I'm happy to have have a new pair of like winter gloves for like snow and stuff and they just have the like kind of orangish rose gold logo which is so cute she also stuffed a pair of pajamas in my stocking I don't know how she did that but these are so cute and so soft I believe she said they were from Target but they are just leopard pajamas they're so like thin in a good way so you're not gonna get super hot I am obsessed so it comes with the long pants and then the long sleeve shirt just like that she also put a little beanie in there. This was the Christmas of beanies for sure. Everyone in my life knows I love pom-pom beanies, but I like this one especially because it is Virginia Tech, which is my college. And a lot of you probably know, I still go to tailgates and stuff. Of course we did not in 2020, but hopefully that will resume someday. And when it does, I can wear this to the colder tailgates. She also put in some chocolate and some little socks, which are always nice to have. A couple of Victoria's Secret things. This is the scent before the rain and the 
fragrance mist and the lotion. I've never tried this scent, but it smells so good, and the packaging is absolutely beautiful. I think that's my favorite thing about Victoria's Secret fragrance sets over Bath & Body Works is the packaging is just adorable. And then also some little body care from Philosophy, and then this is in the scent Sweet Vanilla Fig, which I've also never tried, so it has a shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath mix, a hand cream, and then a body souffle. So I will definitely put all of those to good use. I love how they're smaller in size, so I could also travel with those. She also included a pair of earrings. These are from Madewell, and I love them. They kind of remind me of like the Louis Vuitton ones with the logo in the middle, or the Miranda Fry ones. She has some similar to this as well, but these are so, so cute. Really excited about those. And then from Patrick's family in my stocking, I got another pair of leopard socks, and these are so, so soft. A few packs of gum, which is always nice. This little thing, which can be either a headband, so you can kind of like scrunch it up and like wear it as a headband like that, or you could wear it as a mask, so as like kind of like a neck gaiter sort of thing. Also included some facial wipes, some mint toothpaste, some hand soap, which is always good in today's day and age, and then my favorite deodorant as well, which again, super necessary. They also gave us a bunch of K-cups, which we already put up, and that is awesome because we go through K-cups so, so much. All right, now let's get into actual gifts. I'll start with what Patrick got me. Him and I usually exchange first on the morning of Christmas. So my biggest gift from him was a new travel duffel bag. So I did ask for this. This is from Vera Bradley. When I was a kid, Vera Bradley was like the duffel bag to have. Like a lot of my friends had it, but I never did because they were very expensive, but I always remember they were great quality. Now as an adult, I do think a lot of the patterns of Vera Bradley don't really suit my style. So when I saw that they had this one, that's just like a pink rose quartz. I thought this was a little bit more mature, but it's still gonna have that amazing quality of Vera Bradley. I love how big the duffel bags are from her, but they also have the long strap that you can put over your shoulder. I go back and forth from our house to my parents' lake house so, so much, like all the time. And we usually like stay for a few days, especially during the summertime. So I really wanted a bag like this. Plus I can take it on weekend trips, just anywhere. It has so much room on the inside. It has pockets on both sides. It has a mesh pocket on the inside. It also comes with a longer strap as well. And that is the pattern on the inside. It's really cute actually. So I'm really excited about this. Oh, and then I didn't even show you guys. This is the front. So the front has like a zipper pocket and then this additional pocket as well. So already I can just tell this is such a good quality bag. Just the feel of it is just nice. So I'm really excited to have this. This is super functional for me, but it's also really, really cute. Patrick also got me this, which is a ring light tripod for your phone. So I wanted this because I've been doing a lot more on like Instagram lately and I just constantly need a tripod for my phone. So the one that I did have kind of broke and I saw this one and I thought it was really cool because you can fold it down. Actually, I haven't even opened this yet just because we were so busy, but you can fold this one down. So I thought it would be great to travel with. It extends as you can see also. So I could use this for anything like try on videos or just like in my kitchen or like taking outfit photos. I mean, hopefully this will be good for all different types of Instagram content. So I'm really excited about this. He also got me this hot sauce, which is so random, but I've always wanted this. I actually gifted this to my dad either last year or two years ago because me and my dad both love truffle oil or like real truffles. They are so good. I talked about them. I think I included this in a gift guide actually. And so I talked about it then, but truffles, if you get them like the real thing, they're very expensive. They are like in the mushroom family. I love them. Some people don't, but I think they taste so, so good. So this is a hot sauce. It looks very luxurious, first of all. I mean, that is that not the most gorgeous packaging you've ever saw for a hot, so hot sauce? It's about $34, so it's definitely expensive. Yeah, you open it and it looks like this and it is basically a hot sauce that is made with the finest red chili peppers and infused with white truffle oil. So I'm so excited to taste this. And again, this is something functional because I do you know, you eat every day. And I use hot sauce very, very frequently. It's something that I didn't really want to buy myself, but I would love to receive it as a gift. So yeah, this is not the cutest thing. I just want to keep it in its packaging like forever. And then one of the last things that Patrick got me kind of needs a little bit of an explanation. And it is kind of in part with another gift from someone else, but this is a bike seat pad. So I wanted this because I am receiving a Peloton coming in February and I love doing cycle. I go to cycle 
ankle class right now, but it sometimes hurts my tailbone because as I'm sure you guys know, I have a herniated disc in my lower back. So sometimes that pain can kind of go to your tailbone, especially if you don't have like a nice padded seat or whatever. So this is going to be great for my Peloton and I could use it as cycle class until I get the Peloton. So yeah, this one had the greatest reviews. So I just put it on my Amazon wish list, and I guess he saw it on there. So he got that for me. And that brings me to the Peloton, which is all thanks to my parents. They are helping us get a Peloton, which is so such an amazing gift because again it's something functional that I will have for years and years and years and it's going to help me you know just with my health and that's awesome so it's always great to receive a gift like that but yeah I'm so incredibly grateful for that gift specifically such a big purchase like that any help with that is amazing like I said I won't be here for a while because they're like super backed up but I still go to cycle class throughout the week sometimes so I can still use that bike pad then I'll just bring it to class so speaking of my family and and my what my parents got me I will move on with that so one thing I did request from my mom was lululemon align leggings I haven't had a new pair of lululemon align leggings since before college probably or like early college and they are my favorite dog hair doesn't stick to them as much they are so comfortable they literally feel like you are wearing nothing so comfortable they're like so thin but not see-through if you guys have tried lululemon aligns you know I actually wore them yesterday so they are not with me but they're just a pair of plain black leggings, but they're the best. And then my mom also surprised me with this jacket from Lulu, which is so cute. So this is in their like kind of leopard print, which I love. I actually have a pair of the Align leggings in this print, but yeah, it's just kind of like an athletic jacket material. I've had one Lulu jacket in my lifetime and it was this like bright mint colored jacket that I loved so much, but obviously I grew out of it. That was like years ago, but yeah, this one is so gorgeous and like so my style something I didn't really pick out but my mom knows my style very very well so love this so much she also picked out a couple of other sweatshirts that I love as well again the other one I was wearing yesterday with the Lulu Align leggings but it's like this Zella sort of tie-dye acid wash looking sweatshirt it was super comfortable just nice and easy to throw on with leggings and then she also got me this one from Under Armour which I love because it is a cropped one and it looks nice and loose and comfy which you guys know I love as well. I like the pink color and it does have a hood as well. And then she also got me another sweatshirt. This is from a brand. She told, I don't know if she told us the name of it, but it's like a Christian based store and they sold these sweatshirts. So she got me and my sister-in-law's one. Mine says grateful and it's just in this like beige taupe color. You guys know I love this. I just love the messaging behind it. And of course the small business that makes these super, super nice from my brother Derek and his wife Ashley. They got me this Chesapeake Bay candle. It's the Peace and Tranquility Cashmere Jasmine. I love these candles. They are sold at Target. Oh, it smells so good. Their scents to me are just so unique. They're not overdone. They're not fake. Like the, no offense, because I love Bath and Body Works candles, as you guys know, but something about these are just peaceful. They literally smell like you're in a yoga studio or something. They're just very natural. And I don't have a big one, so I was excited. I only have like the like smaller ones. And this one is a three wick candle. So I'm so excited to burn that. I probably will later on when I get home. And then she also got me a couple jewelry pieces. First is this pearl K necklace. Love it. It just has the gold chain and then the pearl initial. And then she also got me a bracelet from Victoria Emerson. So it's actually a wrap bracelet. So you just put the chain part there and then the rest <laughs> wraps around. I'm not going to be able to do this. But yeah, this is so my style. I absolutely love it. I will totally wear that probably like every day. It's just a unique bracelet. Then from my other brother and his wife, Katie, they got me this little travel organizer that was on my Amazon list. It matches the jewelry organizer I have, so I think it probably is by the same brand, but I love this because it basically organizes all of your like toiletries in one place, whereas right now I carry like three different smaller toiletry bags. This one is just nice and organized. So I know you can't really tell, but it has like pockets for everything and it's tall enough to fit like my toothbrush, deodorant, makeup remover wipes, skincare, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, loofah, 
sofa like it's just big enough to fit everything in one place it also has these side pockets as well so you can open these up and you can hang it up wherever you are traveling so yeah super excited to use that and then she also got me I say she because like we know the wives usually do the present shopping but she also printed out this picture of me and my nephews Brooksy and Jack his name is Brooks I always use nicknames for people and then you guys watch my videos and think that is their name like Buck my dog I call him Bucky and a lot of people think his name is Bucky but it's actually Buck I just call him Bucky same with Brooksy his name is Brooks but we call him Brooksy and then Jack down here this is like a super recent photo we watched them at our house and Patrick snapped this photo so she worked quickly because she got this printed and put in this beautiful gold frame. I love it. Totally my style of frame. She knows this will go perfect in our house. So yeah, that was such a special gift that I loved. My friend Amber got me a beanie as well. This one is a leopard beanie that actually has my monogram on it. My newer monogram, KLG. I guess it would be KGL, but you guys know the L is in the middle. This is so soft as well. It's like nice and soft and stretchy. She knows I'm obsessed with leopard, so that is perfect. And then she also got me my fave brow pencil. Can never have too many of these. Oh yeah, and this one comes with the free miniature one too. So that is very nice. My cousin Allison also got me a beanie. Like I said, it's the year of beanies. This one is just a black one with the gold like jewels, gold studs on them. This is from Victoria's Secret if you guys are interested, but it is so, so cute. I love the black pom-pom. It also, I'm not sure if it came with or if she bought them separately, but it also came with gloves that match. And I actually don't have them right here because I wore them last night when we went walking to look at a holiday show. I don't have any, like I said, I didn't have any gloves, so I was super excited about those. And then she got me just some cute little saying type stuff. I love this. It says dogs insta coffee. Totally me. I feel like this would be perfect for Valentine's Day too, like with the Valentine's Day decor. I don't have too much Valentine stuff, but I love the hearts on this. I feel like that goes perfect. She also got me a couple of magnets. This one says dog, mother, wine, lover. That is totally me all the way. You guys know I'm obsessed with my dogs. Someone called commented on one of our vlogs where we dressed up the kids or <laughs> where we dressed up the dogs and said you guys really need kids lol I guess saying that we treat our dogs too much like children but sorry and then she also got me this magnet that says best aunt ever I will happily take that title as I mentioned I have my two nephews from my brother and his wife and then also my cousin has a daughter who we just always have considered my niece just because me and my cousin just kind of grew up more like sisters just because we were really close in age and the only girls in our family. So yeah, she got me that. Super cute, super sweet. And then my aunt got me a couple jewelry pieces. The first one is super similar to the necklace that Ashley got me as well, but still really cute. Again, the same sort of thing, the K pearl and then the gold chain. These earrings match. So they are just the gold hoops with the pearl in the middle. I'm obsessed with these. They're so cute. I don't have anything like these at all. She also just got me a Starbucks gift card, which you guys know will definitely be put to good use. All right, we're in the home stretch now from Patrick's family. His parents did get me a few things. First up, I asked for these. They were on my little Christmas wish list. These are smart light bulbs. So we have can lights in our house, the ones that are like in your ceiling. And these are smart lights. So they work with you know who, A-L-E-X-A. -E so we have our main Echo Show in our kitchen, but I have an Echo Dot as well that I've just, we've never connected to it because we didn't really have a use for it. But what I think we're gonna do is connect the two. So I asked for a mount as well for the second generation. Echo Dot, it's the older one. So yeah, we'll plug this into our wall in our bedroom and then install these lights in our bedroom and then we can turn our lights on via voice command, which will be really, really convenient just because our light switch is behind the door and that's not super inconvenient, but then recently the switch is kind of broken. So I don't know, I just, saw these and I was like that would be really nice to kind of put that to good use like the echo dot that's just been sitting around for years so yeah they got me that little duo Patrick's parents also got me this <laughs> very functional gift which is a shark steam mop so it's supposed to dust mop and scrub your hard floors and your tile floors I was looking it up and it had really great reviews 
So we will see. We don't really have a good way to clean our kitchen floors right now. We have a Swiffer, but honestly, that does absolutely nothing other than move dirt around. So I just, I don't know. I just feel like the Swiffer is really gross in my opinion. But this, I like I said, it had good reviews. It kind of gets in the tile a little bit more and it's still really easy to use. So yeah, functional gift, but we will use this all the time. And they actually also got me a couple other gifts that didn't come in the mail in time, which is a bummer because I know how that feels. Two of my gifts, one for my sister in law Ashley and one for my dad are coming late and I ordered them in like November so like I totally feel their pain but the mail carriers are of course doing all that they can. I'm sure the online ordering this year was worse than ever. And then from Patrick's brother Chris and his wife Emily they got me a few little gold sort of themed items which I love. So first is this coffee mug. I believe I shared this on my Instagram once as well. So it's like a marble looking mug. It's black and it has the like bamboo coaster lid super cute and it actually comes with the spoon as well adorable and then they also got me a necklace that also has my initial on it I got lots of initial necklaces this year but that is what I request because I wear those all the time every single day and then they also got me a little jewelry dish that's like a it looks like a seashell to me really cute I can put this downstairs in my studio to hold any jewelry that I take off down there and then lastly from Patrick's sister Heather. She got me a bunch of little things so I'll show you guys a few of them. First we have these little signs that I thought were adorable that I'm going to have Patrick hang up in my studio. So it just comes with three of them and they each say different things but I love these. I think they are going to be really cute just like hanging right next to each other. We've been sending them pictures of like me redoing my like studio downstairs and of course it's like all gold so that's why their family kind of gives me like the gold theme gifts. A couple more dog related items. As you can see, I love my dogs. Everyone knows that. This one is like a little photo frame that says dogs make life better. And then another dish towel that says life without dogs. I don't think so. Then we have another palm beanie. This one's like nice and thick. It's like very, very thick. So I feel like that would be really warm. Don't have anything like this. It's like a white and black. The pom pom is adorable. And then also a blanket that has the gold sort of brushed look to it. Again, was thinking of my studio during this. This definitely matches quite well so I'll probably keep this down there and on the inside it's kind of like a really fuzzy fleece material so it's really really warm and very soft but yeah that is pretty much everything that I've gotten for Christmas this year so so thankful for everyone honestly just for thinking of me like I just love gift giving and receiving just because I don't know it's just so thoughtful it shows that you thought about that person what they like I think it's a lot of fun and I think that we all should have fun with it not take it too seriously so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you either gave for Christmas or received. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and of course be sure to subscribe down below. Go follow me on Instagram and I look forward to talking to you guys soon in my next video. Bye guys! Bye.